trying to keep these basic videos real short and put out a couple of weeks and they're getting longer than I mean for them to be. But today we're going to learn about creating directories. So I'm going to say mkdir, that means make directory. So I can make a directory and I can call it um, my folder. And that folder now exists. I can move into that folder by typing my folder and I use tab to autocomplete. And now I can make a folder inside this folder. Uh, I can go make new folder and I can move into that directory. Now you might try to make a few folders deep. So let's say I want to make a folder called tests with a folder inside it called one with a folder inside it called Bob. So I can say make directory test one Bob. So this is going to give me an error. So it cannot create this file. No such file directory exists. So you're going, Wait, what do you mean that, that there's no such file or directory? Of course there's not. I'm trying to create it. Well, by default, it's thinking that you want to create a Bob folder inside an existing folder called test and one. But test and one don't exist yet. So what you can do is type in make dir dash p test one Bob. And the b means or the p means create all the parent directories. So now we just created three folders, one inside the other. So I can go, it's uh, test, one, Bob. So I can go inside test if I want, I can go inside one if I want, and I can go inside Bob if I want. And again, I can move up out of these directories, like so. And I can uh, move all the way down into some of them. Let's say I want to go over there, I can go like so. Um, so that is creating directories and directories inside directories. You can also create a bunch of directories. So let's say I wanted to create um, five di different directories uh, inside this directory, not one inside the other, but all inside this test folder that I'm in. I can say make um, A, B, C, and D. Now you notice there's spaces in there. So it's gonna see each one of those as separate folders. So I can do that, I can list it out, and you can see that I created those four different folders. What, did, what if you wanted to create a folder called A, B, C, D with spaces in there? First off, you shouldn't ever really put spaces in a folder or file name. It's just annoying, especially from a programmer side of things. Um, but if you wanted to, you could. So I can say make dir A, B, C, and D, and you see I'm putting inside quotations now if I list it out, you can see that I've created a single folder called ABCD. So I can try to move into that. So again, so now if I want to move into that, I need to either put quotations around it or backslash out each space. That's, that's why you really, one of the reasons you really shouldn't be putting spaces in folder file names. Auto completion kind of helps with that, but it's, it's rather annoying. So now I'm inside the ABCD folder. Moving back out of that, I could also do CD A, B, C, D with quotations. So it's either put it in quotations now that there's spaces in there or put a backslash before each space. Uh, if you know another way of doing that, be sure to comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Be sure to like, subscribe, share this video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you want to add to this, any questions you have. And if you want to become a supporter, please visit patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Uh, if you visit my website, there should be some links there. Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day.